Oh, we're walking the rock. Rocks. That's a good shot, Betty. Thank you. I don't like it. You go in front of me. Go. She may be rethinking that decision now. I want you in front of me. Diamond head. That's what we're doing. Oh, we're almost there. Is that human? Is it human? <laughs> it could be. Sometimes it is. You know? <laughs> oh, careful. Don't step in the mess there. I think I might have got it already. If there's any around, I'll get it. <laughs> Unfortunately. So you're our tour guide, Mike. You know all. <laughs> you know that all. You like the intuitive, what's happening right in the middle? What do they find in Hawaii's case? Something called a volcano. Okay, created by a hot spot, right? Oh, careful where you step in over there. Uh, oh, hey, you're right in it. Step careful where you step in. Oh, 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 you step in. <laughs> it's appropriate to say, oh. <laughs> There's a spot you can wipe it off over there, probably in the weeds. Yeah, track it. I know. You can put a cone over it. And we are. That's okay. We'll just walk a little bit further, okay? <laughs> Look at that road going straight up, Betty. Good thing they don't have ice. <laughs> if they had ice, they couldn't get up and down that road for sure. We've gone up this far. Four hundred and something feet. Do you want to do five of you guys together? Yeah, please. It's the whale. Whale Island. Wow. Thank you very much, teacher. <laughs> 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 we come around the corner right there. Okay. <laughs> 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 
Fly by the mules and by the young recruits. All right, Jordan, then you're ready. Three, two, and. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we can't see the bunkers up top, right? Part of our Pacific Coastal Defense Diamond Head. There's five of them all together, including the last one we were looking at, the Fire Control Station up top. The idea was to look out in the Pacific Ocean, spot any rear country ships. Then with the information I got from here and from Waikiki, send the information on top of fire control station, diamond head, do the trigonometry, the triangulation, calculate where to fire the shot. We never had to find a pencil shot from right here. It's also a good place to, well maybe another place there too, to see the pistol burn when they practice over there. Where is it? Uh, it's kind of, uh, let's, let's look at, wait for the other place. You kind of see it's kind of an L oh, right okay. there. Where they practice, you know, shooting pistols. Well, what is this field down there right now? That park? That's a, it used to actually at one time um, in the 1800s, there was actually a big pond. It was wetter back then. Is that me? It's me, isn't it? Stupid thing. Somebody close by though. Same ringtones? Yeah. <laughs> it's off. <laughs> I'll turn it off. It's still daylight in Dallas. Okay, so next part. We've got 74 warm up sets. We're going to go through a tunnel. And eventually we'll turn to the right, but for now we're going to turn to the left. No, no. Yeah. So we come out of the tunnel, you're not looking to your right. right. You turn left to the rest. That's me. Okay? Got to your right. Got to your right. <laughs> is that because it's a surprise again. or is it because it's scary? <laughs> I want your hearts to calm down. Okay. I don't know how selfie does. All right, yeah, it looks good. I don't know how selfie does with a GoPro, but... <laughs> oh, there's the guy that did a selfie from around the world. It looks awesome. Yeah. A long time ago, there was a... Uh, that's 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 good morning. It wasn't just a bunch of gibberish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just a couple So it's like purple inside. Steps. Yep. No claustrophobia. Oh, sorry. I can't breathe. Betty can't breathe. Huh? Breathe in through your nose. No claustrophobia. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I can't breathe. Betty can't breathe. Huh? Breathe in through your nose. Light at the end of the tunnel. Backwards. This is forwards. We're going up. Still Diamond Head Crater. All right, here we go. Um, what about jet ski? That's scary. Um, this way.
99 steps. Only 99 steps. Oh, I'm not. I'm not counting them, by the way. Anybody counting the steps? Are you counting them? No. <laughs> oh, my thighs are burning. <laughs> burn, baby, burn. <laughs> That's right. I'm glad I don't smoke. Yeah. I quit in 2001. <laughs> You're going to be sore tomorrow. <laughs> I'm scared to go down. You say, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. No, I'm scared to go down. I think you go down a different route. Look at the bomb storm shelter bunker. I mean, they they war they bunkers. They both they had gun turrets. Sure. Oh you have to be tall, taller than me. <laughs> Can't see you. Oh, look. Bunker. Oh. They look out for planes coming out. Enemy cut planes coming back in World War II. This is what our guide told us. Okay, I'm in, let me move. I'm in the way most of the time anyway, so. I'm 52, I don't think anything's gonna change. Okay, I'll hold it. So, is that way. Waikiki, right there. Jonathan, come over here, bud. Let some people get over there. Come here, sweetheart. Jonathan, come over here. You gotta let other people enjoy that view too. Whoa. This is Southside, it's Waikiki. Right over there. Okay. I'll move. That's where we're staying. And between the marina and the, uh, where that, you see the little pond right there? Yeah. That's where they shoot up the fireworks. Uh, usually tomorrow night, right? But they may not have them tomorrow night. Luckily, we were here last Friday. We saw them. Yeah, we saw them. Yeah, okay, 7.45, they have them. That piece of land jutting out in Laguna is Magic Island. Okay, and then beyond that, this white stretch of beach, Ala Moana Beach Park. That's right. In of that, in of that is where the shopping center is. When that was completed in 1959, that was the largest shopping center in the world. It's been surpassed a number of times, but still the largest. Betty, the Big Island's 150 miles. Over there. Still hadn't got down off Diamond Head yet. We're still on Diamond Head. Yay! Bunkers, bunkers. Well, we saw that. the island. What we are in is a little bit different. What's happening with the glaciers right now? You guys should know from Montana what's happening with glaciers. They're melting. They're melting, receding, right? This means the level of the ocean water is rising without water going into it. Uh, 
we know that's happened at least uh, 13 times by a bunch of 600 feet of years on the rise went around, the rise and the falling of the ocean. So you think of one time when this was shallow ocean floor that a fissure broke open, ocean water went down, with the magma, created steam, very powerful explosion. Blew the ocean floor up and there's ash that settled back down again. So the brown we can see is limestone from the ocean floor. The white is calcium from the coral. All this was pulverized ash at one time. You can see which way the wind was blowing when this was created. From there, from there to here, right? So pretty much the, the normal trade wind patterns. A little more from the east though, this way. 321 feet above sea level there, 763 for where we were. Did you get a final reading up there, Curtis? For the I got 768. Oh, I, got, okay. I got 768. Oh, okay. Very good. Yeah. I forgot. You can see the round shape of this. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So because of the round shape, they think they think this was very quick, very sudden, very explosive. Boom! They think it were from three days to three weeks. It may have taken to create this. So, Cocoa Head and Cocoa Crater, that giant whale in there, same type of formation. But there's six different rocks that came up over there. Punch bowls the same type of formation. Uh huh. About 43 places on the side of the island. Where that volcano came up between two and two million years ago, these guys are anywhere from 100,000 to 500,000 years ago. So much more recent, geologically speaking. These are called the Honolulu series of tough cones. Okay, That's we cool. never did talk about the rest of the job. Do you guys want to do that or do you want to just skip that? Yeah, yeah. Good, okay. Uh, hot spot, right? This plume of magma coming up. Plate moving on the hot spot, forming the islands with the volcanoes. Volcanoes the islands move off of the hot spot, the volcanic matter is added in the process of erosion really takes over. So we have eight main Hawaiian islands. Kauai's up here northwest, Kauai's here southeast, flowing this way towards Japan. So these islands, which one is older? Kauai or Hawaii? Probably Kauai. Kauai, right? Over the hot spot first one that moved off. <coughs> this is over five million years old from a single volcano. Right. Because the oldest of the main Hawaiian islands, that means Rose has had the most amount of time to work it relative to these guys here. So on the winter side, this is how the trade winds come in. The four stoppers, <laughs> they drop the rain. This is where we see the beautiful rugged Nepali coast. Right. In the middle of the island, Waimea Canyon, which Mark Twain may have called the Grand Canyon of the Pacific. Kauai was formed by the volcano by Ali Ali. And though the summit is no longer the tallest peak on the island, it's usually the wettest place on Earth. It gets over 40 feet of rain per year, often as much as 50. Wow. Once in wow. a while, as much as 60 feet of rain. So if it's the rain, that's 600 inches of rain per year. Wow. All right? On the Big Isle of Hawaii today, they think as much as 10 inches of rain may fall today. Right? They think they get, they're estimating 4 to 10 inches of rain. Right? right? So, Big Isle of Hawaii, formed by seven volcanoes. Two of those are covered up by the five we can see right now. And because the Y is the youngest, less than a million years of age, means the has had the least amount of time to work on it. That's why we have peaks that approach 14,000 feet. Just like the Rockies. Mount Okea, okay, Mount Loge, about two to three feet shy of 14,000 feet. Right. right. But that's about sea level. If we measure these guys from the ocean floor, which is the world, right? right. Is, uh, the actually really more valid way of measuring the coast is 30, almost 31,000 right. feet. Right. That makes the most massive volcanoes on Earth. Even bigger than Everest, 29,000 feet. We measure them from the make depression the cross closer to 56,000 feet high. So you're going okay. from the top to the base of the water. Right? Under water, right. right. Yeah, there's different ways of measuring things, right? They, it's from sea level or up or from the base. From sea level up, up, right? 14, but prominence, what, you know, what's next to it? Because there's lots of peaks that are close together, like an Himalayas. And the shield ones. Right. Or also from the center of the earth, which is different on the equator because there's certain boulders that spin. Okay. There's all kinds of ways to measure this thing right here, right? <laughs> so, so what yeah. one, the tallest one here is what? There. From is Mount Akea. Mount Akea. Almost 14,000 feet. 14, yeah. Now there's a there's an island actually forming off the coast of the Big Island, isn't there? Right. Right. Which side of it would it be on? It would be on the, on the windward. I mean, yeah, the southeast side southeast over there. Because right? yeah. the place moves over here, hotspot feeding. Right. So only 18 miles southeast of Wai, there's another one coming up. That's we right. didn't know about this uh, 25 years ago. They saw the rumbling, the shaking. They went to check it out and they found the sea mount coming up. And that's also when they discovered pillow lava. Have you guys seen pictures of that? Yeah. yeah. In video? That's pretty cool, right? Yeah. And the lava comes up, it hits the water and cools quickly, and it forms what look like pillows. They roll off the side. So we didn't know about this 25 years ago either. It's by the black sand beaches, right? We saw that. It's by the black right, yeah, the black sand beaches because, right, those are the new, that's the newer part of the island. Right? So as that, as that volcanic rock erodes, Get the black. Yeah. Sometimes there's olivine. You go south point right there, the olivine, the green sand beaches. But then as green hands, yeah. what was the chemical yeah. called? Uh, olivine. Olivine. Yeah. And then that's the mineral there, yeah. yeah. The olivine, right? But then as the coral 
bleaches and mixes in with the sand, we start getting the white sand over here. Right, so you get the glass, the silica, and also the coral bleaching. That's why it becomes whiter and whiter. Right? So low heat is what we named that steam out. It has another 3,200 feet to go before it touches the ocean surface. At the rate of score right now, we think it's going to take another 50, 60,000 years before it touches the surface of the ocean. But it's close enough to the Big Island of Hawaii, could eventually join up with it, become part of the same island. So besides these eight main Hawaiian islands, there's another 124. Rocks, reefs, shoals, islands make up the island chain. Wow. So a ton of 132. Right. As we go northwest along the chain, it gets small and small because of erosion. Erosion. But then coral structure grow, helps keep them above the surface of the ocean. The last two up there midway, finally Curie Atoll. Curie is about 1,600 miles away from the Big Island of Hawaii. Just the tip of this volcano sticking up with coral growing. So midway is a part of this chain? Yep, it was a part of this chain right So the next to the last one there. But that was under the jurisdiction of the United States, the federal government, until 96. Right. 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 And so I was going to say, did you guys claim any new islands at that moment? Yeah, how high was it up there? Yeah, I guess they could, huh? <laughs> like Loewe, you would have come How high was it up there? There's nothing really popping 768. up. 768. That's what I had on my own. But, you know, anything that's created by the volcanoes belongs to the people of Hawaii. I don't know. So all that, you know, that thing, in the 31 years that Kilauea has been erupting, almost constantly except for a few days in 2007. It's created over 600 acres of new island right there. So all that belongs to the people. And this is I have 755 right here. Right. So My, mine's not very accurate. Ryan and Rachel, when they were on the they big island, were able to were staying in steel. do an all day 12 hour tour around numbers. the island. And they saw, we, we have all of the ecosystems feet. in the world except for the two extremes. We have sand dunes on Molokai. We don't have the deep desert now. We have the Snow Peak Mountains, the Mauna Kea, Mauna Loa, Rainfall. and sometimes Haleakala there too. Huh? Yep, but we don't have the deep Arctic temperature, but you have everything else in between. And with our trade winds creating all these different ecosystems, right? rainforest is down to here. Yeah, when you said 11 and 13, I can't believe it. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, <laughs> if you ever get to Maui, go up to Haleakala. Yeah. It's amazing. It is amazing. Go First there. of all, it looks like you're on a different planet. That's cool. Yeah, it's it the so cool. of the moon. Right yeah, there. it does. That's and the <laughs> silver sword is just an incredible plant. Up there. That's on Maui? On Maui, yeah. yeah. Maui. So that's one of our native plants up there. And this is this year, they say they're just amazing. There, A lot of them are blooming as well. So it's, it's a good year for silver sword. It's like the only place on Earth, maybe one other place on Earth you can see it. It's yeah. just it's only place, yeah. It's just amazing. Haleakala is really cool. <laughs> Okay, let's go down a little ways. Let's go down the warm upstairs. On the left hand side, there's a landing. We'll stop there. All right. People call this either Leahi or Laiahi. We're not sure which one is the one. It's an old language. And these letters written down from the history in 1820 and created the written out. It was Lay. We know what that means. Lowell's got one. Jonathan's got one. Those are the two I see right now. The wreath. Mm -hmm. So Lay Pua is the wreath of flowers. Lai means cake. Ahi other means tuna means fire. So it could be the eye of the tuna saw, the round shape. We came driving up, looked like the brow of a tuna. That's probably one of the secondary meanings. The primary meaning, the hidden meaning, what the Hawaiian people call the kauna, the deeper meaning, was probably wreath of fire or cape of fire. Because they used to build navigational fires at the top to help the outrigger canoes come back in, back in. The same function the lighthouse in front performs. And the first European that landed here was Captain Nathaniel Portlock, who came here in 1786, so years after Captain Cook first sailed by the island. And they named this point Rose after the patron of his voyage. And then the sailors saw the calcite crystals on the hillside. And when those compress, they start to sparkle brightly, mm. like diamonds. They thought they were diamonds. They started calling this Diamond Hill, and now we call it Diamond Hill. Mm. So that's the official story. And you're sticking to it. Yeah. Well, that's to do with, I don't know, I know, knowing Ryan, you probably heard about this one right here. There was a vegetable farmer uh, that used to sell his produce in front of Di the Diamond Head over here. He was especially well known for his cabbage. He used to sell for Diamond Head, a Diamond Head. Uh, that's not the reason why. That's not the real reason. Yeah, I like your explanation. Yeah. I mean, the real explanation. It's a knee slapper. So we can head down. Uh,